Hi again, folks. If you're making an interview podcast, you know there are a lot of other interview podcasts out there. You're probably wondering, how can I make my show stand out and be exceptional from all the other interview podcasts out there? So I've been helping judge an award show recently, and based on that, I've observed there are three mistakes that a lot of interview shows make, which make their shows less compelling. And so I'm going to list these three common mistakes for you, and then also give three suggestions on how you can improve your show instead. So mistake number one is starting your interview podcast with the get to know you chit chat and just reading the person's bio. Like you don't have to include that your guest is glad to be on the show. They wouldn't have said yes to being on your show if they weren't already glad to do that. And also it's just not very interesting to just include that get to know you chit chat. So what is the solution to this to make your interview more interesting? Start with a provocative quote. Like let's say your interview guest said that eating pop tarts every day at 6 a.m. can solve your problems at work. Start with that quote. If you start with something provocative, especially something provocative that creates a sense of conflict or that solves a listener problem, then you'll draw your, your listeners in. Uh, common mistake number two is playing the entire interview exactly as it, was, as it was recorded start to finish. Now, there are some rare interview guests, for example, uh, like famous authors who have done many interviews about their forthcoming book, who can speak in an articulate manner for several minutes at a time, and you can play an entire clip. But for most interviewees, that's not the case. And so to make your interviews more interesting, you will want to edit, sometimes by 10, 20, maybe even 50%. But especially if you use a voice-to-text transcription tool like Descript, just go through and just try to pull the most important bits, make your episode significantly shorter, and that will improve the quality of your episode right there. Um, so again, tip number two, simply just cut a bunch of stuff because it's not that interesting. Uh, mistake number three that a lot of interview shows make is not using narration to either set up at the beginning, to recap at the end, or to simply fill in gaps and move the story along and create a sense of flow in an interview. Because again, going back to point number two, the vast majority of interviewees, the vast majority of human beings, myself included, just aren't going to be that linear or interesting as they talk. And so narration can summarize a whole long rambling clip and then also create that sense of variety of alternating between a narrator and an interviewee that creates a more listening experience. So again, our three common mistakes with interview shows. Number one, beginning with the introductory chit chat and reading somebody's bio instead of just cutting straight to a provocative quote. Number two, playing the entire unedited interview start to finish instead of cutting out some of the less interesting parts. And number three, um, not using narration to set up recap or create uh, some common threads in the interviews. So anyway, try these three uh, suggestions and your show will stand out. Thank you.